In the age-old battle of East versus West, who does it better? Home design is the name of the game, and in this new series, we get to bounce back and forth between designers on opposite coasts as they reveal their best work. On this episode of Design Smackdown, it's East home design versus West Coast styling. Let's see how the designers match up. Hello everybody, I'm Sharzad Kiade and I am in beautiful, sunny San Diego, California, about to chat with my girl Lori Dennis, who is the interior designer extraordinaire behind this gorgeous home. Tom's probably still really cold in the East Coast. I feel sorry for him. Hey, I'm Tom Felicia, and in this episode of Design Smackdown, we're in Westport, Connecticut. Designer Sam Allen is gonna show us what East Coast design is all about in this beautiful, shingle-style Connecticut enclave. Okay guys, we're here in Westport, Connecticut in Sam's super chic, monochromatic, fabulous living room. What's the inspiration? Tell me what was uh, sort of got this whole it thing all, going. It all started in Paris, Tom. <laughs> Which by the Paris. way is east of the West Coast. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, I just wanted a sophisticated space for my clients, but also comfortable enough for their, you know, four kids to enjoy. Well, this is a very sophisticated, cool space. Loving sort of all of the symmetrical moments that sort of play on the sort of classical. Yep. It's very cool. There's like these kind of glamorous moments. So you were sort of bringing together a lot of different things. I, well, I tried to. Um, everything from the 30 Jezzo console over there. Which I love. And just also, you know, wanting to bring a whole kind of a little bit of like Hollywood glamour. Yeah, with well, like the 30s, you know. the 40s. And I can even see like sort of, I love the glazed linen curtains with the fixture hanging in the middle of the room that's kind of eccentric. Yeah, that's where I wanted the kind of, yeah. you know, Hollywood glamour was with the, you know, beaded chandelier. I think anything height. with beads is kind of chic. Yeah, I Very still... East Coast, by the way. <laughs> yes, Any, anything crystal beaded or, or gilded. Elevating the West Coast here on the East Coast, I think is a really nice way to make a sort of a statement. As do I. <laughs> I, I. I can't think of any other better way to do it. Well done. I love it. Hello everybody, we're in beautiful, sunny San Diego. I'm with this total rock star babe, Lori Dennis, AKA Dennis the Menace, I hear. I uh, hear. <laughs> and it, oh, this house is so gorgeous, you must have had so much fun. Tell me your overall like vibe and style. Well, we're all about luxury, indoor, mm -hmm. outdoor lifestyle, yeah. and being comfortable. Yeah, I can see that. This is like every, I feel like every man's dream is like happening in this room. So talk to me about what's going on in here. It's California, so yeah. they get the doors open and they just come in here and have a great time and get the poker going and the TV and he's got the signed guitars yeah. by this one and that Sweet. one. Sweet. Right when I walked in, I got that vibe that this is like a fun house. Like this is a house where people entertain, where they live, where they have friends over. I mean, every section of this house looks like it was built for fun. We like to have a good time. We don't build museums. We don't design museums. We design functioning places where people can live mm -hmm. their best selves yeah. and their best lives. Tell me some unique features of this room because it's awesome. Well, first of all, we have the smoking lounge. Yes. And we have the poker table that's monogrammed and custom for him, Big Daddy's Place. Ooh. We have the pool table, of course, quintessential in any big boy's playroom. Yeah, totally. What's really cool about this room, though, is that the doors open all the way. We're in mm. California, it's sunny and warm, so it becomes really indoor-outdoor. Oh, yes, it looks incredible. I know there's so many more things to see in this beautiful house, so I will follow you. You lead me and show me, show me all the other good things that you've done here. You got it. Let's go enjoy. Let's go. Woo! Okay, now we're in Sam's super serious kitchen and we are cooking with gas. Sam, tell me about your classic Connecticut kitchen. Well, uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a very large scale. Yeah, it's high ceiling. High ceiling. And my client has, my clients have four kids, so it needs to be a large kitchen to right. maximize the Definitely amount of space large. that we have here. I love nice, clean Carrera right. marble, and yep. I decided that I also wanted to take the Carrera marble up behind the So you have it behind the stove, inch, you have it in the backsplash. Exactly. Splash. I like that you're playing with the texture. So you have the solid Carrera counters, yep. then you're doing sort of the brick pattern Three by as six the backsplash. Tile, and then You've a little done bit the chevron behind the stove. It kind of feels a little bit like sort of this fresh, clean, sort of East Coast library that also happens to have a 60 inch wolf stove in it so you can sort of make all your delicious treats. Exactly, and also why I wanted to have the cabinetry wall but in the ceiling was to have a layer of The display, display. yeah, exactly. it's cool, to have a layer. I love it. And also, the, you need a lot of wine storage. Right at ground zero, you need wine storage. I think that's a good idea. 
So, you know, okay, so I'm loving the kitchen and I think it feels, it lightens sort of what you would normally see as traditional. You're seeing it as kind of fresh and clean and there's a youthful kind of approach to classic design. Thank you, that's, I, that's what I strive for. Well, you did it. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. From one fun room to another one, I can tell the, the vibe of this family is just about entertaining and happiness, light, bright. Talk to me about the inspiration in this kitchen. Well, you know, we're close to the beach, so they wanted a very beachy vibe in here. We can see the ocean out of the window. We have the seafoam tiles, bluish ocean kind of colors, mm -hmm. and just a great big space. So and open. Open. So much light. I love it. It looks like, I, I just feel like this family has so much fun in here. Like it's lived in space as well. Totally lived in. And you know, this house wouldn't be their house if there wasn't something special and different than everybody else's yeah. house in each room. So. What you see under this very interesting and unique mm -hmm. hood is called a salamander. And in it, when you go to the restaurants and the meat is finished or the fish is finished perfectly crispy on the top, mm -hmm. yes, that's the machine that does it. Amazing, so cool. Um, this house is just like on point. I love it. Tom, are you jealous? Okay, so we have now stepped down into this super chic, subterranean, sort of media room, billiards table, AKA basement, but as we know. Only on the... Only on the East Coast. Yes. You know, the West Coast, they don't have, basements are not really a part of the vocabulary. They're rare, the they're rare. They don't have all of this. This is like, this is, this is sort of like lower level living. Yes. Large. Yes, right? what yes. You say? I would say it's very cozy. This is really fabulous. I love the whole sort of media room area with the big yes. sofa, the fireplace, and then you have the whole sort of playroom for the kids. It's like totally like they can go berserk in there. Basically, I wanted it much more modern than the rest of the house. I felt right. like down on the lower level, right. a little bit we would be able to experiment in that way. Yeah. Okay, so I'm loving your over the top subterranean party place, which is really cool. Um, and I have to, I want to, I'm dying to see what Sharzad has on the West Coast, but I haven't heard from her. So I don't know, gosh, I hope one of those platelets didn't slip. <laughs> and Nevada is now the new West Coast. Oh my God. Well, anyways, let's cross our fingers and hope that didn't happen and go upstairs. Let's see, let's Poor go. Poor Sharzad, you know, anything could happen on the West Coast. That poor thing. He's probably stuck in traffic. <laughs> Amazing in here. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Can you tell me about it? It must have been so fun to make this bathroom. It was, and I just wish I could be in it every I know, day. Every day. Right? I would live here. So, what was important to the homeowners? They love to be together, mm -hmm. but of course, people need their own space. Mm -hmm. So, we did a his and hers kind of a deal in yes. our spa bathroom. And then, after they swim, they could just tiptoe right in here and one could steam and one could take a little bubble bath. I love this. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. I, I mean, everything about this makes me happy and I love that it's so open and like, just really kind of encompasses that like California lifestyle totally. of like, spa and relax and be zen and happy and perfect because it's sunny and you just <laughs> love your life and life is good here in California. Absolutely. The closet is like what dreams are made of. I love it. Um, but I think we should go dip in the hot tub and uh, maybe a little cocktail. Let's hit that hot tub. You ready? Right Let's here. Do it. Woo! Now you've had a taste for home design with an East Coast flair and a West Coast point of view. Think one's better? East Coast it is. See you on the next episode of Design Smackdown. Which is great crystal beaded chandelier that I found that actually reminds me of a jelly. No, you said you almost. found it. Do you find it on the East Coast or the West Coast? Actually, it, I found it on the East Coast. Isn't that funny? But, but, I find but, I find but, the but, best but, things on the East Coast. East Coast and East Coast. <laughs> Poor Charzad. You know, I just I. God knows what she's up to out there. And it's a beautiful day. Look at all that white, beautiful snow yes. outside. The gorgeous yes. snow in the yard. It's just it look is. at the kids with toboggans. It's amazing. <laughs> Was that Santa Claus? Oh my God. That's hilarious. We and so the wine room is no exception. I love it. So are we gonna go sneak in there and do some tastings later? <laughs> oh, are we gonna go taste the No, wine? I'm kidding. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Sharzad Kiade, and we are in beautiful, sunny San Diego. Tom is probably shivering over there in the East Coast. I'm not, I'm warm as can be. Hello, sunshine. <laughs>